Welcome back, happy Monday, awesome admins, and welcome to day four of the Admin Lightning Challenge. So today, we're gonna go over our solution for our day three challenge, create a lightning calendar from anything, and I'm gonna give you the day four challenge, which can be shared then on social with hashtag lightning challenge. So first up, I wanna congratulate our day three recipient of the daily awesome admin swag. So I'd like to congratulate, let's see, Carolyn Sass for sharing her completion of the day three lightning challenge. So Caroline, you were randomly selected for participating in this challenge and for sharing your day three solution to receive some awesome admin swag. So today we'll be sending you, or soon we'll be sending you some awesome admin socks and an awesome admin water bottle. So let's go ahead and get started. And don't forget, there's still seven more days of challenges. So you haven't missed your chance to receive some daily awesome admin swag. And of course, you all still have the chance to complete all 10 challenges to receive our finisher admin swag. So our day three challenge was to create a calendar from anything using lightning calendars. I'm gonna show you how I completed that in my lightning environment, and then we'll get on to the day four challenge. So here I am in Lightning, and the first thing I wanna do when I'm getting ready to create my calendar, or potentially when I'm getting ready to create my calendar, is think about what are the filters that I want for that calendar, if any. So in my Opportunity tab, I do have some filtered lists that I've already created using Lightning list views. I have some lists called Opportunities that are less than 70% probability, as well as an opportunity that's near close. So these are both list views that are looking at all of the opportunities in my environment, and they're looking at the probability of closing based on my sales stages. So right now I'm looking at basically over 70% or below 70% as important for me to see on my Kanban, on my list views. So now that I have those list views, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my calendar. Now you may have noticed by default, you do have the Salesforce events um, calendar available to you on your lightning calendars. And that's great, I'm using Salesforce events, I love having that, but I also wanna add some additional calendars that I can view as well. So if I click on my little gear here, my gear controls next to calendars, I can see the option to create a new calendar. So when I click on new calendar, I first select the object that I'd like this calendar to look at. Because these calendars are can be filtered with list views, um, you are looking at objects for each calendar that you're adding. Both standard and custom objects are available here. I'm gonna select my standard object of opportunity and click next. And I'm gonna call this opportunities needing attention. Um, because I'm going to apply the filter for this for all of my opportunities that are less than 70% probability. Notice you don't have to select a filter. I'm using this to create some filtered views, but you can also create a calendar for anything that has um, date fields on it without filters. So you could just put all of your custom object records or all of your um, opportunities. Now, the reason that I'm using a filter list view is because I'm actually gonna add two calendars. So let's work on the first one. So I've got my opportunities needing attention and the field that I'm going to select for start is going to be the close date. Now I do have all of my standard date and date time fields available here uh, to be the start time. And that means when is it going to start on this calendar? If I had custom fields, custom date time fields on my opportunity, those would be options for me as well. I'm gonna select close date as my start. Uh, because there's not an end date for this type of calendar, because close date is just kind of a standalone date, I'm not gonna select my end date, but if I did wanna have an end date, if I was looking at say a custom object like project that had start date and target end date, that's something that I could select as well to have calendar events or uh, calendar visuals that spanned multiple days or multiple uh, time periods. So I'm not gonna select a field for my end. I am gonna select the name that I'd like to display. So this is where we say, what is the actual name or text that we wanna be displayed on the calendar when people are looking at it? I'm gonna select the name field from my opportunity as the field name to display. So here I've said, I want the calendar to be called opportunities needing attention. 
and that's the name that's going to be represented here on the right underneath the, the mini calendar on the right. I've selected my field for start, which is my close date. I don't have a field for end because it's a standalone date. Um, the filter is an existing list you have created that are opportunities that are uh, under a 70% probability of closing at this time, and we're going to display our name. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now, when I create that, it automatically picks a color for me and it adds it to my calendar. I can select if I want to show this calendar or maybe show only this calendar. I can also pick different colors to show. So I do like the orange because this is a high attention calendar. So I'm going to pick maybe a brighter orange. I'm going to actually add another calendar for the same object. So I'm going to click new calendar. And again, I'm going to select opportunity and click Next. Now, maybe we'll just call this greater than 70% because these are my opportunities that are, are, are going along well. It um, doesn't appear they need to be attention. They're on track. But I still want to see them on this calendar because I want to be able to see everything in one timeline type list view. So I'm still going to select Close Date with no end date. But the filter I'm going to apply is going to be my opportunities near close because that's the list view that I created that's filtering already for all of those opportunities with greater than 70% probability of closing. And same as my last one, I'm going to select name as the field to display on this calendar and click save. Now the default color that um, comes up for this is also orange. So I'm going to go ahead and make this green so we know that those are on track. So here I have three calendars on my week view. I have my default Salesforce events calendar showing in blue, and then I also have my orange needing attention opportunity list view, as well as my green looks like everything's going well opportunity list view being shown. But I also want to look at this in a month view. So we can, we're viewing this in week right now, and I can always you know, click through the weeks if I want, Oops. click through the weeks if I want, and see the individual weeks using this calendar navigator here on the top left. But I want to look at this in a month view and really get a high level view of all the health for the month. So when I click on month, I can see all of my opportunities that are on track, all my opportunities that need attention, as well as my events. And if you ever choose that maybe you want to just view one type of calendar at a time, you can always just unselect the little colored box and say, OK, well, maybe I don't want to show Salesforce events or I don't want to show my opportunities needing attention. And the calendar is then updated. Um, but you still have the option to reselect that calendar if you want to view that graphic. So that's how I created my calendars in Lightning Calendars. And I loved seeing all of your solutions with the hashtag Lightning Challenge. So let's take a look at our day four challenge. Our day four challenge is to convert a classic app to a lightning app and select your branding and logo. A fun hint, you can use GIFs as your app logo, which is one of my personal favorite um, Easter eggs in lightning. So I look forward to seeing all of your solutions with hashtag lightning challenge. And I will be back same time, same place tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific. Thanks, awesome admins.